The movie starts with a guy named Jakob Pessa being interviewed for the Euro space program. He's been in space alone for 189 days, near Jupiter. Jakob wants to study something called the Chower Cloud. He thinks it's important to collect and study its particles. A young girl named Anna interviews Jakob. She calls him the loneliest man ever because he's so far from everyone. Jakob says he's not lonely, but he looks like he might be. Jakob can't sleep because the toilet is loud. He asks to fix it, but they say no because they have other things to do. Peter, the technician, asks if Jakob is sleeping. Jakob says no and talks about someone named Linka who hasn't called him. Even Peter hasn't heard from her. Jakob's boss, Commissioner Tuma, watches a video from Lena to Jakob. Lena says she wants to divorce Jakob. Tuma doesn't show Yakub the video because he's already under a lot of pressure. Yakub even had to take medicine for his insomnia. One night, Yakub wakes up suddenly. He sees something moving under his skin in the mirror. A spider leg comes out of his nose, and he tries to get it out of his mouth in his nightmare. He wakes up scared, holding his mouth. The next day, Yakub understood the chopper sample collection practice. He started working on it. Yakub asked Peter for help. Peter was worried about the broken cameras on the ship. He wanted someone to talk to Lena at his home because she wasn't answering the phone. He sat in front of Check Connect until the screen blinked. Someone he didn't know was talking. Jakob asked who it was, but got no answer. He asked Peter if Check Connect was hacked, but Peter said no. Peter told Jakob that Lena was at her mother's place for a few days. Jakob heard a loud noise on the ship. He went to where the sound came from. He saw a big alien spider-like creature. He shut the door and asked Peter if there was a hidden camera on the toilet. Peter said there was a camera for safety, but it wasn't working. Peter opened the door to the toilet and floated away. The spider creature came out of the room. It spoke with the same voice Jakob heard through Check Connect. It told Jakob it didn't want to hurt him. Jakob got scared. He put on his spacesuit and asked Peter to use decontamination to kill the spider. Peter didn't understand why Jakob wanted this, but he did it anyway. Jakob waited until the decontamination was done. Jakob started feeling uneasy when he suddenly remembered a memory about Lanka. Lanka, who didn't know what was happening, suggested Jakob see a doctor when he got back home. He explained that being in space alone for a long time can really mess with your mind. Jakob saw the strange alien again and decided to talk to it. He found out that the alien had been exploring the far reaches of the solar system when it spotted Jakob's ship. The alien had always been interested in humans and had studied a lot about them. But even with all that knowledge, it couldn't understand Jakob. The alien claimed it only came onto the ship because it sensed Jakob's loneliness. Jakob wasn't sure if the alien was real or just in his head. He tried to touch it, but the alien warned him not to because its kind doesn't like being touched. Jakob quickly went to bed, hoping it was all just a dream. He dreamt about Lanka before waking up suddenly. But even awake, he felt like he was still dreaming. He thought he was watching himself argue with Lena and was confused about what was real. He saw the alien and asked if it was causing all this confusion. It turns out the alien spider can get into his mind and know what he's thinking, dreaming, and remembering. The alien said it seemed like Jakub's wife was moving away, and the alien just wants to help Jakub feel better. Meanwhile, Lena was telling her mom about her big choice to move to a special place in the country for pregnant women who were alone. Lena told her mom she loved Jakub and how hardworking he was, but she felt ignored because Jakub stayed distant and didn't trust the alien. When Jakub found the alien back where he first saw it, sleeping while holding onto the humming tube, he found it funny. He decided to open up a bit to the alien and even gave it the name Hainus after someone his dad used to talk about. Hainus was the name of the person who built the big clock in Prague that measured the movements of stars and planets. Hainus became Jakub's friend, and with Hainus around, Jakub felt less lonely. While talking about the meaning of a song from an opera called Rasula, Hainus made Jakob remember the time when Jakob and Lena were still falling in love. Jakob looked sad as he asked Hainus to stop messing with his mind. That night, Jakob suddenly woke up and felt his childhood memories rush back. He talked with Hughes, and the arachnet confessed to entering Jakob's thoughts. But Hughes stopped when he sensed Jakob feeling uncomfortable due to his guilt. Hughes asked Jakob about his feelings, and Jakob opened up about his dad's death. His dad was in a communist party and worked as an informant doing both good and bad things. Seeing his dad die had deeply affected Jakob. By taking on a solo mission, Jakob hoped to make up for his dad's mistakes. Hughes felt this and advised Jakob to focus more on his pregnant wife and be a better dad, unlike his own. Commissioner Tuma visited Lena to discuss the video message Lena had sent. Lena confessed she hadn't shown it to Jakob because she wanted to protect his mental health. 
Tuma wanted to know why Linka had divorced Jakob and left him while he was away from Earth. Linka didn't explain, but she didn't need to. Before leaving, Tuma reminded Lina of when she asked Jakob why they kept calling each other despite the silence. Tuma said that the silence they shared when calling each other was okay because they were silent together, and that's what mattered. The Farah collection test ended, and Jakob got close to the chopper cloud. He saw small parts of it inside the ship and tried to grab them but couldn't. Hughes said it was the start and nothing could keep it. Jakob saw the grains leave the spaceship through the window. He called Control to tell them, but no one answered. Jakob realized he lost contact with Control. They got closer to the start, and Jakob worried about what would happen. Hughes said it was hard to explain, and they might experience it together later. Hughes tried to talk about Lena, but Jakob seemed distant. So Hughes showed Jakob what happened to Lena when he was away. Jakob was focused on his ambitions and neglected Lena, who was pregnant. Lena lost their first baby, and Jakob wasn't there for her. Jakob didn't want to be with Lena because he had dreams that didn't include her. This made Jakob cry. When Hughes asked Jakob if the pain caused by his choices mattered to him, Jakob kept working. Hughes was upset that Jakob, his human friend, was still too focused on his discoveries. So, he showed Jakob another memory. It was when Linka cried while talking about how proud she was of Jakob. But Hughes made Jakob see the truth behind those tears. Linka was proud, but she was also hurt because Jakob was drifting away from her. Jakob was letting it happen because of his ambitions. Hughes made Jakob realize his mistakes, and he expressed his disappointment. Jakob had become selfish and didn't even try to understand his wife. His loneliness was his own fault. He chose himself over connecting with those who mattered, and now he faced the consequences. Hughes was so disappointed that he decided to leave. Jakob tried to stop him, but Hughes got angry and pinned him down before leaving. Jakob begged him to come back, feeling even lonelier than before. He cried as he admitted how wrong he was. Jakob fixed the communications and contacted Peter, reassuring him that everything was okay. He told Peter to visit Lena and help him talk to his wife. Peter did as Jakob said and let Lena hear what Jakob wanted to tell her. Jakob apologized for neglecting Lena and living his life for the wrong reasons. He said he wanted to redo everything and be a better man for Lena. After hanging up, Hughes and N came back, making Jakob feel relieved. Hughes said he didn't want Jakob to face the beginning alone and decided to return to his human friend. Jakob noticed Hughes was struggling to breathe and asked what was wrong. Hughes revealed that when the Gams, the beings that destroyed his tribe, came to devour them, Hughes fled too late. Jakob felt sad hearing this, and for the first time, Hughes hugged his human friend. Jakob was about to enter the Chopra cloud, and it was being shown to the whole country. Commissioner Tuma expressed how proud the Czech Republic was of Jakob for defeating South Korea and being the first to investigate the purple specter haunting the skies. Jakob finally entered the Chopra cloud and deployed Ferda to collect samples, but there was an unexpected problem. Jakob noticed Hughes gasping and drifting out of the spacecraft. Jakob ignored the control team as he worried about Hughes. Meanwhile, the control team was panicking over a problem with Ferda, recording many malfunctions. They ordered Jakob to stop the mission, as it was dangerous for him. Jakob ignored them, caring only about saving his extraterrestrial spider friend. Jakob went to the airlock and put on the emu, telling Peter he was leaving the spacecraft. Peter tried to convince him not to go. Jakob didn't listen and moved toward Hughes. He hugged Hughes when he got there, and asked if the arachnid was okay. Hughes praised Jakob for being brave and saving him, but warned that the Garps would soon weaken him enough to eat his flesh. They only had a little time before he might die. They kept drifting and looked over the Chopra cloud. Then Jakob remembered how he almost drowned when he was young. Hughes reassured Jakob that it wasn't the end and took him to the center of the Chopra cloud. There, Jakob learned everything about himself and the universe. The Chopra cloud isn't just the start, but also the finish. It holds Jakob's past and future, everything about him, Lena, Hughes, every hurt and every joy. Jakob was amazed by how little he knew about the universe. He finally remembered what was most important, what he truly wanted. He remembered the moments he fell in love with Lena. As he saw his work finished and Jakob finally understood, he said his last words. He started and ended in the same place, he said. But Jakob's journey wasn't over yet. He still had his life to return to. He just needed to listen to the silence. Jakub watched as Hannah slowly disappeared, turning into tiny pieces before vanishing completely. Then he gazed into the bright light, surrounded by silence. On Earth, Linka waited anxiously for any news about Jakub. She looked up at the purple cloud in the sky with a smile. Suddenly, her phone rang. 
She answered and heard a woman speaking in Korean. Then she heard Jacob's voice. Jacob told her that if he had known then what he knows now, he never would have left. Lena replied that even if she had known then what she knows now, she would still choose to love Jacob. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Stay tuned for the next video, and I'll see you in the next one.